Leo Lejeune. I am a Vice President at Stantec Architecture. Um, my role has been to oversee the full design team and to act as the architect of record. The canopy was created architecturally as a metaphor for the energy and the movement of the Stampede experience. There's so much going on at the Stampede. There's the rides, there's the lights, there's the movement. There's so much going on. How do you capture that energy and movement in an architectural expression? Because this building sits at such a critical point at the center of the Culture and Entertainment District, we knew this outdoor plaza would be a magnet for pedestrians as they move through the district. And how Stampede and CMLC were involved through that process, as we started in particular exploring the lighting strategies, they were very, very excited as to the opportunity uh, for how these lights could be designed. What does that sense of arrival look like for them? Uh, they have that welcoming gesture of the canopy up above, but it's lit in a unique manner like the marquee at a, at a signature hotel. So we worked very closely with EOS lighting to create a sense of movement, to create that sense of color that can change, and with heavy industries uh, on the fabrication of the panels that have the lights installed. My name is Connor Hayduck and I'm director of creative at Heavy. I think just the form of it is so, is, is so dramatic and, and kind of, it represents a number of concepts or, or themes from, from Western heritage and the stampede itself. Um, so you've got elements like the black and steel, which harkens back to you know blacksmithing and, and campfires and things like that. So there's all these different inspirations and themes that are represented in these features. We're able to dial in on, on all of these specific minute details and make sure that everything kind of, everything kind of speaks towards that design intent. And I think one of the biggest challenges on this was actually not necessarily the paneling system themselves, but, but the backing structure to support them all. And it actually ended up being you know, probably the most complex piece of the, of the project. So we actually developed a way to take stock material, stock structural members, and cut them in such a way that we could actually bend them to all these weird, you know, these different radiuses and these different angles that we needed. It's a unique finish in that it is slightly patinaed, slightly uh, scarred and messy, and that adds a rugged, very textured look and feel to the pavilion, and we feel that pedestrians walking by will actually want to come up and touch the panels. It's not smooth or glossy black. It's intended to be very modeled, and we love that look and that effect. As part of the mock-up process, we mocked up a set of panels to actually test out the lighting system and see how that actually performs in the real world. So one of the things that we were testing is we have these, these, these kind of linear lighting elements throughout, throughout the piece, and we wanted to test, okay, what is the actual effect of that lighting system? How big do those holes need to be? How wide are these elements, you know, these linear strips that we're cutting into the panels? You know, we don't want to make the holes too big that people could get fingers stuck in them, so there's practical considerations like that. Uh, but we also, you know, need to take into account that we want them to be lit properly and meet the design intent. So there's all these different elements that come together to create this, this one I iconic element. Hi, I'm Scott Hendrickson. I'm the director of special projects at EOS Light Media. One of the things we really worked on with this piece was a, a pure integration with the architecture. I think what we're hoping for is a little bit of surprise. What we, what we ended up working with was this idea of starting with that sort of bonfire feeling, that, that idea of a birthplace where people could gather. And then we started to incorporate other parts of, of Calgary life and Alberta life and prairie life. So we have auroras at night landscape. Uh, we have thunderstorms that tend to roll in in July. So we've taken all of these pieces that are part of the you know, fabric of, of the culture and of the area and then we've turned them into uh, expressions of light for the architecture. We're going to start with this incredible sort of show that has fire and water and fireworks and all of this, but it's, it's just a, a starting spot. Our lighting controller has an astronomical time clock built into it which allows it to change its schedule every day as the light changes. So you're going to see a dynamic lighting piece. It's actually not going to come on at the same time every night. It's not going to play the same show every night. It's going to be more reflective of the season. What we intend to have happen is this to be sort of a beacon for the city. Some of the software that we use is actually generative now. So even though, say, we're doing like a fire effect on the show, that fire will be unique as the lighting plays with it every single time. So it creates even another kind of layer of depth to the piece so that nothing feels like 
oh, I've seen that before, you know, even if it's the same show. What I love about the way that it's actually designed is it encourages this two-way flow right from the pavilion. It kind of invites you to take a peek inside the center. You know, you don't have to buy a ticket to the show. It's just a part of your city now, and it's something that you can experience and enjoy anytime you want. We, we get to do a lot of really exciting things, but when you get to do them in your hometown, when you, when you get to work with the incredible folks at Stantec and Heavy, and all come together on something that has never really been done before. If you look at the architecture, you'll, you'll be amazed to see the way that all of the lines and shapes all merge together and create something that, you know, I don't think anyone's ever seen before. So it was a lot of fun, a truly one-of-a-kind experience in my architectural career. <laughs>